So I'm sitting there thinking to myself, because you know how we they be thinking, yeah, right? How to deal with blackmailers, yeah? So I've got a little theory, yeah? But I was telling myself a little story, so I'm going to tell it to you guys, yeah? <clears throat> so, the blackmailer comes to blackmail you, yeah? This is your opportunity. So what you do, right, yeah? You just explain to the blackmailer, okay, cool. You're going to get your money. But this is how you're going to get it. You now personally, you throw one party, you invite all of the people that the blackmailer claims that they're going to tell you. Yeah? Invite people, Just invite people, yeah, invite them. A little party, have a little stage, so you're high up and they're low down so you can chat to them, so yeah, good. Let the blackmailer introduce yourself and then tell the blackmailer, okay, tell them what I've done. So after the blackmailer has told them what you've done, now you tell the blackmailer, you tell them what you done. So the blackmailer says, well, I'm the blackmailer, isn't it? Oh, and you say, yeah, thank the most high. You see it? Right. So everyone's going to be shocked about whatever you did. And blah, blah, blah. Then, I don't know why my heart's beating so fast, you know. So, anyway, because I'm excited. Because it's, it's a good thing, isn't it? Then you say to yourself, okay, good. You give the blackmailer their reward, their money. In front of everybody and you say this is how you deal with blackmailers so at the end of the day this is the maybe it's the holy ghost it's the holy spirit <laughs> that happens sometimes yeah maybe <coughs> it's the way of the most high lightening your burden and then you can either sit down on the stage have some little soft fruit they can fling it at you depending on what you, your crime is or depending on what is the reason that makes this blackmailer feel so you can blackmail you you get me? Because it's got to be blackmailable. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what you do. That's what you do. Throw one party. Invite people. Invite the blackmailer. Tell the people who are gone. Give him his reward. And thank the Most High for lightening your burden for you. And whosoever want to do whatever after that, let them do whatever after that. Yeah. I mean, you've got blackmailers that just get wiped off the face of the earth. I don't really like people that blackmail. But in real life, if you look at it good, 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 it's your opportunity to tell the truth. And you should seize it with both hands. Yes. Tell the truth. Lighten your burden. Lighten your load. Don't make nobody feel so they can come and just RB you up and, and, and say whatever they feel like it. You say, yes, let me throw one party and invite, invite, use the word. Son, everybody, come. Yeah, I did it. I did it. And then, you accept that you did it, innit? So if it's something that you could even get a help for, or, or, or get a little support, a little guidance, a little therapeutic help for it, then you're in a position where you can say, yeah, I'm ready to get this help. Nobody should have to have anything hanging over their head. You see it? Nobody should have to be in fear of a child that can just go and speak and say whatever they feel like and it's you and up in handcuffs. No one shouldn't have that fear. And every time I say I'm tired, I'm tired. Maybe, maybe it's I want to talk, I want to talk. I want to talk and tell people, say, all oh, tears are coming to my eyes. Even to this day when people say they don't even have children, I say, even missing out on nothing, you know. Don't rush. <laughs> Enjoy your life. Because it's not something that is, is sweet. People can take your child and corrupt them and turn them against you. And, and, and turn your child mad and all of these things there. That no one can't come inside of my brain. It can't work. Stiff and firm. Firmer than the dome that is over the top of our head. Can't do it. Can't work. No crackhead can tell me nothing about myself. No, no illiterate can tell me anything. I don't care how you sit down anywhere. Give me the same book and let me pass the same test and I'll show you. Dirty out of order. I had five different barristers and three of them said to me, See you, you'll be alright. Just go down this path, yes sir. You'll be fine. And now look, now look, 
I get big words in my vocabulary. Yeah? My vernacular is on point. No, I can't run me nowhere and bring me come know how. I'm tired of people. You think it's easy. It's not. Until I'm from the ghetto and I have to tell people about infantilization. And what is the new one? New, neurodiverse. New, uh, neurodivergent. These times my brain wired different to people and they're so dumb they don't even understand it. I, I want to call, call themselves learned or, or, or professional. Learned people, the barristers that I had saw inside of me. The psychologists and the psychiatrists that I spoke to saw and, and put me on the right path. I said, no, train and do this. Look back that way. Until I bust three different university exams. I, I, you mean? It's not me sometimes. It's not you. Sometimes people is dumb. The dumb, the dumb, dumb. Fool. That's them bringing the work would. Th them type is called neurotypical. Because they're the typical type of people. Sometimes when you might tell the truth, you know, you don't even realise that you're hurting people. But it's the truth. It's reality. And if you want to come lie, that means you want to turn me mad and it can't work like that. It can't work. Let's have a love. It's the truth. The truth is real. And if it's real, don't try to come and turn it into nothing else. Because it's not the truth and it's not real. And that is why us, us autistic people, uh, us, us different people, that's why we, we just tell the truth. We say it how we see it. You see me? Hmm. I'm going to talk. Because it's my right to. Everybody want to talk, say this and talk, say that. But you see, if I start really talking, you know, people's eye would shed water. I'm tired of it. Nobody ain't, nobody ain't putting their hand on me inside my, inside where I'm meant to sleep and, and be safe and cool and calm. You can't do it. Man, pitney, parents, nobody. You can't do it. I'd rather stay on my own because you see me, snap neck. Bruce Lee, don't see how I find. Cha. Hmm. You see, when you know yourself, you have to stay far from people. Stay far. You got people that don't even know their own strength. My friend's son got, got put on tag. Poor child, go out one night, got drink with him friend. Never hit nobody in his life. Man dashed it in his face, punched the man, it broke up the whole man's jaw. Man still have to get a wire up. Now he's got conviction. For why? Did the man not dash the drink in his face? And the, you see grass coming towards your face. You don't know what... You see me? I told you, Holy Spirit. Hold up back the tears and say, No, chat to them good. Tired of this. No, I'm going to talk. I'm going to talk. No. Got me all arbor up like, 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 like I'm scared. Scared of who? To, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. can't bully me every minute wanna be me hey you must talk you see if anybody's inside your ass upsetting you you must talk and at least tell somebody mind something happen you must talk because something happened now and you get each up in a problem you must talk and tell somebody so I'm telling you guys People must keep their hand to their self and their mouth in a manners. Otherwise, they can't come back around me. I'm telling you. And all of this, I didn't understand what it was. I didn't know. Until I read things and they said, Nice, the Holy Spirit catch up in you to let you know that you're not on your own. You're not by yourself. And if anything come even feel say it while blowing near you, it can't work. Not in your father's house, it can't work. Mba, no. Hmm. 
every time, not in my father's house, not in my father's house. I said, not in my, not, in, not under the dome. Hey, hey, way, you know, better this mindset. Hey. <clears throat> That's why you have to just breathe and technical breaths then. Yeah. I, I always to think that my sugar levels low and them things there. No, it's Holy Spirit catch up inside of you. To say, no man. You see, even if you start thinking a certain way, hmm. And they call it goat man. So you have to just breathe. But anyway, thank you for listening. <laughs> I is going. I'm shaking. Papa shaking like no blood. Can't work. Mm -mm. Anyway. I'll be back. <laughs>